uh, a couple weeks ago so end of june i think this date right here there was this question asked can a chatbot preach a good sermon there was a church service generated by chat gpt this was in saint paul's church in the bavarian town of firth firth uh, my German is a little rusty. Uh, a guy named Jonas Simmerlin, a theologian and philosopher from the University of Vienna, he he put together an entire church service that was, he says, 95% generated by ChatGPT. And then it was led by these virtual avatars. Uh, he put a few prompts in and he asked it for, you know, the basic structure, include this, include that. And then, boop there it goes and he dropped it into all the systems and they did a thing which i think is just fascinating fun it got mixed reactions some people were like oh it doesn't have any you know heart soul personality in it it, it was a little bit um you know broadcasty because everything was pre-packaged and then these digital avatars just said it all versus the space for interaction and, and, and engagement which is a whole thing you know how do you do that pre-recorded live all that stuff anyway but i think the experiment is worthwhile to just ask how do these emerging technologies intersect with the work of the church uh, so go check it out you can find out more by googling uh, can a chatbot preach a good sermon? I'll have a link to a couple articles in the description. And there's another video I made about chat GPT and ministry that you can click he he here. Here, I think. Click here. Or is it here? I think it's here. Click there and you can watch that video. Uh, but yeah, interesting stuff in the news. Chat GPT. Can it not just preach a sermon? Can it write the whole service? <laughs> huh.